100% his wife is a man. And they said, why? It's like, because he looks like a little and you can see it. So what more do you want to see? You can see on his face. Mm -hmm. You can see on Macron's face that he's exactly the kind of person who would be groomed by a man. Mm -hmm. So here we have an excerpt with Tate and Candice dissecting the Macron conspiracy. Some will be in varying degrees of agreeance in as far as anything being possible when it comes to their mistrust for the unprincipled, power-hungry political elite. Others will see this as utter conspiracy theory rubbish. So let us observe. I recently watched your show when you were talking about Macron, wife, husband, whichever one it was. Dude. The dude. And people were saying to me, Andrew, what do you think about that? And I said, well, yeah, 100% his wife is a man. And they said, why? It's like, because he looks like a little f and you can see it. So what more do you want to see? You can see on his face. Mm -hmm. You can see on Macron's face that he's exactly the kind of person who would be groomed by a man. Mm hmm so, and, so it's obvious. And then it's the common sense aspect where they're like, first and foremost, they are producing no evidence to the contrary. 30 years on a single picture of this person exists. Yep. You, We have plenty of pictures of his brother who suddenly went missing at the exact same time that Brigitte was born at the age of 30. Yep. And people don't have that common sense to go, wait, that is quite strange. Why are they not able to just easily debunk this? And instead, you're going to call everyone else crazy. And the thing that should terrify people is the fact, which you describe it as the matrix, I think that actually is the right term, is that the matrix works overtime to make it seem as though the people who recognize the insanity, recognize the homosexuality, recognize the pedophilia are, in fact, the people that are crazy. Like yep. it's a complete inversion of what's actually happening. And the saddest thing is that it works. I mean, where did Macron even come from anyway? I remember, I remember that, that French election. I'm certainly no expert on French politics, but I remember he popped up out of nowhere, some globalist. He was a lawyer or a banker or something. They just put him up there and then he won. The last French election, Marine Le Pen was winning and then, oh, she lost. It's like, are these elections even real anymore? Is anything even real anymore? I mean, I only have criminal cases in three countries currently. You may as well add France to the list, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I just don't believe any of it. And then Macron stands up there, and of course, he's complete globalist WEF. I remember his obsession with Merkel. Do you remember the way he used to stare at her? Mm -hmm. He used to stare at Merkel with adoring eyes. Very strange situation the French find themselves in. And when you point these things out, you point out that it's strange, right? You point out and say, look, this is unusual. Even if she is a woman, which is highly debatable. The fact that she's 30 years older and it's all just a bit weird. But if you want to mention these things, you're right. You're, you're called a crazy conspiracy theorist because so many people are so desperate to conform.